Welcome to Emmanuel Church Glenhaven Bible Talks. The sermon preached last Sunday is not yet available. Meanwhile, we hope this mini-sermon will encourage you. Jesus strode towards Jerusalem to take charge of his kingdom. He goes through the heat haze shimmering from the dusty road. He can see it all ahead of him, his crimson robe, a flayed back, his royal crown made of thorns, his throne, a rough wooden cross. And from this throne, he would secure and declare his victory over sin and death. It is finished. Teacher, James and John were almost running to keep up with him. Teacher, we want you to do something for us. He stopped and turned to face the sons of Zebedee. Love shone in his eyes. He had such big plans for them. What do you want me to do for you? They glanced over their shoulders at the others slowly coming down the road. When you take charge of your kingdom, would you give us the places of honour at your right and left? Pain furrowed his face. You have no idea what you're asking. Can you endure all that I must endure? Of course we can. That's just as well. Because you'll have to. But it's not up to me to decide who take the places on either side of my throne. My father will take care of that. Jesus turned his face towards Jerusalem and marched on. The others caught up with James and John. Peter pushed forward. What was all that about? Oh, nothing of importance, muttered they, the two brothers. Sounded all about importance to me. Didn't catch it all, but I heard enough. Places of honour. What are you two up to? Do you think you're better than the rest of us? The others joined in the protest with shouts of indignation. They hadn't noticed Jesus walk back to them. They looked up and, and almost withered under the disappointment in his eyes. Don't you understand yet? You've seen how godless rulers throw their weight around. They like to give orders and receive fancy titles. That's not how it is in my kingdom. You want to be great? Then become a servant. You want to be number one? Then be a slave to everybody else. He paused as he looked each of them in the eye. I, the son of man, didn't come to be served. I came to serve. I serve by giving my life to set many people free. Once more, Jesus turned towards Jerusalem and set a brisk pace along the rocky road to glory. And his disciples followed him. Do you follow him? Then be a servant. You can read the original account of this event in Mark chapter 10, verses 32 to 45. I'm Michael Robinson. Thanks for listening. We trust today's mini-sermon encouraged you as you follow Jesus. For more information about Emmanuel Church, please visit our website, glenhaven.church. But until next time, bye for now.